I've been searching for this question everywhere and couldn't find an answer, so here's a video. Will an iMac 5K with a relatively powerful graphics card still benefit from external graphics? For those who are just looking for the answer, the answer is yes. I noticed improvements of around 11% when performing stabilization tests. My results? 8 minutes and 41 seconds without an external graphics card, and 7 minutes and 45 seconds with one. The clip was about 5 minutes in length and in 4K. It was a pretty brutal thunderstorm. I will include a link to it at the top of the video if you're interested in checking out a pretty artsy scene of Reston, Virginia looking beautiful. But back to the topic at hand. I used an iMac 5K from 2017 with an AMD Radeon 575 Pro. I was a bit bottlenecked by the 8GB of RAM as well as the quad-core CPU instead of 8-core. And that's pretty much it for my results. If you'd like to see a video about export times, please be sure to leave a comment below and I'll do that in a future video. The rest of this video is me attempting to make the procedure look good. For those interested in the process, here's the rest of the video. Enjoy. Oh yeah, nice, beautiful, nice. Look at that Sona E graphics break weight, nice. Ah, oh, those angles. Now look, it's on a little perch. I got up pretty early for this video. Now the iMac's powering on. Nice, look at that side scroll. Here's the computing beast with its gorgeous 27 5K display. Here's me putting a graphics card right next to it. Pretty gimped apartment residence iMac, but we're doing this for science. Here's me plugging in cables. Shout out to Thunderbolt 3. I was excited for science, sorry that last clip was shaky. Plug in a solid state drive because it uses one of those terrible fusion drives, and off we go. Okay, with a stream of consciousness out of the way, I first played around with playback in Final Cut Pro. Next step for the stabilization test was to first disable automatic rendering in the background and delete all rendered media and transcoded media and all that good stuff ahead of time. There's my local favorite Apple store. And once we select everything, we select stabilization and then wait for the process to complete. Not gonna lie, I've been using an eGPU for a few months now, and that singular GPU looks a little lonely. Once the process completes... Huh, how'd that get in there? We see that the whole process took 8 minutes and 41 seconds, and then we plug in the eGPU and repeat the same process. Re-render, sorry, reselect everything, hit stabilize, and then see how long that takes. Nice, with the two eGPUs in Activity Monitor. I'll be honest, at first glance it didn't seem much faster, but then after I timed everything and the entire process completed, what seemed like ages later since I was sitting there with a stopwatch, I noticed that the entire process took only 7 minutes and 45 seconds and 92 milliseconds. Here are more artsy shots, because I really want the iMac 5K, maybe coming soon. And that's all for my artsy rendition of the whole process. If you've made it this far, I sincerely would like to thank you for watching. I put a lot of effort into these videos, and all of the positive feedback I've received has given me a lot of support and encouragement. I'm looking forward to publishing more content, and if you liked today's video, please be sure to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.